men were fighting in war. It was very hot morning, morning, August 6, 1945. Sun was shining very bright. I was polishing a pair of sunglasses. Suddenly, there was bright light that turned sky into furnace. For a moment, I could not open my eyes. Then I grabbed the helmet and run to window, thinking it is only small bomb. But I see boy, young boy, begin to melt. Skin crumble off from head down, eyes wide open. Then last push me back and the room began to cave in on top of me. It all happened in just a few seconds. Everywhere cries and screaming around me. Although at first I think bomb hit only our plant. I call out a rebel shout, I coming, I help you. But there was only few who could be helped. About 1,500 of my fellow workers already dead. 500 more nakunarimashita die the next day. Inside building, most people die of injury outside from heat and radiation. I try pulling people away from falling building. When I go outside, I could not believe my eyes. City of Hiroshima. No more buildings standing, or only train station, two bank, newspaper office, part of department store, everything else gone. I begin dragging people into street, everywhere people screaming for water and running and crawling to Kanan River where they die. I see burnt remains of mother clutching burnt remains of body, baby to her body. Still people keep screaming and crawling to river. In one hour, between 10,000 and 30,000 bodies floating in the river. Parts of body moving because fish feeding on corpses. Later, trucks take injured away for medical treatment and trucks leaking blood into the street. I look back and see more and more people running through the river. More and more people. I was 21 years old then. Today, I am an old person. But I still see effect of bomb all over Japan. Thousands of people still suffer and die from radiation disease and hibaksha, victim of bomb, worry about health of children and grandchildren. I am only little person not important like world leaders here at United Nations. But I know in ways you do not know how important to stop nuclear armament. I would like to take you from this building on East River back to Kanon River 33 years ago. I would like to show you. Many years ago, I go to Potter Harbor and stand next to American father who sees name of son on Arizona Memorial. We both cry together. Madness. It is madness. Thank you.
Thank you, Nikki. Powerful word.